I just want to talk about three T drills and then a couple of soft toss drills. T is still the best, it's still the best training tool to use, especially for little kids. Again, it's instant feedback. All right. It keeps the ball still, and what you see out of a lot of kids is them hitting the tee. So that tells them that they're swinging up. All right. So that's why I really like it, because it gives them feedback on it. We want them to get to swing down. <coughs> we want to put the ball in the tee, and what we try to do in order to fix, there's usually really two main, well, three main reasons why kids are hitting a tee, or, or, or why they're, how we can get them to fix swinging up like that. One again is we talk about visualization. If they're going to use a T, we're going to use a ball. Take whatever's written on the ball, whether it's the 12 here, or it's the Rawlings, or it's the NCAA that's on this ball, and have it pointed up towards the kids so that it gives them a visual to look at as they're going to hit it. So what I'll do is I'll take the 12 and you just put it on a T so it's facing up towards them. And we tell them we want them to hit the 12. So that gets them to hit the top half of the baseball. And that's what we want to do is we want to hit the top half of the baseball. I mean, a lot of times, almost primarily when we're using tees, we're using tennis balls, you know, even on the college level, and you just take the Wilson or the pen and you just face it up towards them and you just tell them, keep your eye on whatever's written there. Because that's a lot of times why they're hitting the tee and why they're swinging up is because they pull their head off. So we want to force them to keep their head down, and we use it by using the lettering on the balls. So that's, a, that's one of the first fix to get, them to, hit, for, to get them to not hit the tee. The other thing is where they stand. Okay, A lot of kids don't know where to stand when they hit off the tee. To hit off the tee, and we're just talking about hitting the ball right up the middle, we want to put the tee right at the front of the plate, right, which is where it's at right now. But we want to line our foot, the front foot, off the back corner. What happens a lot of times is kids want to stand right here. They want to move up towards the tee. So that their front foot is just slightly ahead of the tee. Well, now what happens is they're, gonna, they're, they're, they're trying to make contact prematurely. They're making it back in their swing instead of in front in their swing. So that's the other thing you want to look for. See where they're standing on a tee. And, and so many times when I'm doing, doing the drills with the kids at camp, I got to constantly say, move back. Because when they swing, then they end up going forward. Swing and end up going forward. So you just got to constantly say, move back back, move back, front foot off the back corner. And that gets them to hit the ball out in front, okay, and that's going to keep them from hitting the tape. So it's one, use a visual, use the lettering to keep their head down on the ball. And what we'll say a lot of times is don't follow your swing, because that's what they want to do. Don't follow the ball. Keep your head on the tape. And the other thing is see where they're standing, okay, to start the drill. So we always want to start it back corner, front foot. Okay. All we want to do is we just want them to keep their head down. We have a net or we haven't used the fence or whatever it may be. And we're just trying to hit the ball straight up the middle. Okay, straight up the middle. So we're teaching them to hit the top half of the ball so we create that backspin. We want to stride straight. Okay, and we want to swing, hit the ball out front, finish and follow through. Quick fixes too is if people always say, I always have a kid who's stepping towards the plate and he's jamming himself, you know, as we, as we talked about before. Well, if they're doing that, put a bat here, put a towel here, put a piece of two by four here, and that way they can. Well, I've got a kid that always steps out in the bucket. Same thing, put it behind, make them step straight. I mean, even put two down so that they know they have to step straight. But again, that feel and visualization will help them self-correct themselves, okay? So I like using the tee, one for the swing, and two, it helps you with your stride because you can use things to help them correct their strides. Okay? So that's the first part. Our first T drill. Second one we like to do is we talk about, <coughs> Tim says, hit an A to C. We want to do a high-low drill. So we'll keep the first T in front here, and this is the ball, just like we did. That's the ball we want to hit, okay, out in front. We only have one T. What we'll do is we'll take a second T, put it off the back corner of the plate, and we're just going to raise it up, okay, so it's higher. So the first tee will be about just like that. It'll be staggered. Yeah, so it's about six inches. Back tee is about six inches higher than the front tee, okay? And again, this gives us feedback. Front foot off the back corner, just like always. And what we want to do is we want to hit the ball off the front tee, okay? And we'll put a ball back here without knocking the ball off the back tee. So it forces us to hit down on the baseball. So we're here, and then we're swinging over to contact. So that's an A to C, down. So if the kids are dropping their hands, we're 
back shoulder, what they're going to do is they're going to hit the back tip, and it's going to knock the ball over. Okay? So that's how we force them into, somebody talked about the golf swing, that's how we break that habit. Okay, we just use the high T here, we make them hit down on the ball. The other thing is too is, I always stress this to coaches, especially when you're dealing with little kids, whatever they're doing wrong, if they're hitting the ball up in the air all the time, um, they always throw the ball up and in. Yeah, you know, whatever it may be, teach them or force them to do the opposite because it'll make them self-correct. So if you've got a kid who just hits fly balls all the time, hits fly balls all the time, put the ball on a tee and then just say, I want 10 ground balls. Hit me 10 ground balls off the tee. And it just forces them to hit down, okay, hit down. And, and, and do it however you want. You can make it a game, you can add some running into it. I, I, I don't know, whatever you, you want to do, but make them do the opposite because it'll self-correct them. Okay, so if the kids hit five balls all the time, hit me 10 ground balls. Just hit ground balls before it hits the fence. I want it to hit the ground. So it forces them to get the feeling of hit down on the baseball. All right, but that's what this does. Keeps our hands up and it forces it to hit A to C. And again, we're just doing the same thing, hit the ball, contact out in front, up the middle, and finish. And the last one we do is a little sniper drill. And now, we're going to take our first tee, put it back at the front of the plate, and then we want to put another tee at the same height with a ball on it. Okay, and just imagine there's another tee here with a ball on it. And what we want to do is try to teach a level swing, and we ultimately want to hit line drives. And so what we do is we take the same stance, back corner front foot, we want to hit the ball right up the middle, and what we're trying to do is hit this baseball, okay, and force it to hit the baseball in front or the tee in front. And that's why we call it the sniper drill, okay? Tees are about a foot apart, no more than that, all right? And it just gives the kids something, again, to focus on, makes it a little fun, five swings, see who gets the most out of five swings, all right? But it's a fun drill, the kids love it at camp. And that's all they try to do, is try to hit that front tee and it, it just forces them to swing correctly, okay? Just forces them to swing correctly, because a perfect swing is hitting the ball right back up the middle. Okay, so it just gives them a little visual, a little feedback, sniper drill, try to hit the, use the back ball, hit the front tee or the front ball and knock it off. 